Hey guys, what's up? So today we are back in the aisle and we are the friendly little Uteraptor. Now I do have some information for you guys about theft. There's something happening with the game right now. There's someone, someone's being a little dickbag, which I'm going to touch base on soon. Someone's being a little dickbag and they're stealing from the game. They're stealing the models and the creatures from uh, Primal Carnage, the Isle, and Ark. And they're trying to sell them currently. Which is pretty shitty. That's that's a lot of work that costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to make one creature. Because you have so many different people involved in that one project. Really shitty. I'm going to move into that in a second. But as always, guys, if you do enjoy the aisle, well, then remember to leave a like on this video. Now, I do have some information for you guys, too, on the Cannibal and the Magna Raptor. And the size of the Magna Raptor, which it's... It's, it's, it's going to be a big boy. He's going to be a pretty, pretty sizable creature as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. But I'm going to move into the theft first person that's stealing from the aisle. Because they're literally, when you do this, you are stealing from the developers. You are stealing stuff that isn't yours. And you're trying to resell it. It's not cool. I didn't even know this was a thing, to be honest with you, until recently. Because Val PM me about it. He was like, yo, someone's being a dick. So now I'm letting you guys know someone's being a dick. I don't know if you can mass report the profile or what, but <sighs> let's move into that. So like I was just saying, it turns out the aisle devs are being robbed. These are models from the game. That's the Acro. That is the Dilo, I believe, unless it's the Primal Carnage, because I know they have Ark, the Isle, and Primal Carnage. That is the Isle's Ostro, 100%. The Isle's Quetz. Uh, this is... I don't know what the hell this is. What is this? That's the di... Wait. That's a different dilo. Whatever. You guys get the idea, though. They are stealing assets. Harry Sun, you're a piece of shit, by the way. But they are stealing assets from the game's dev kit and trying to sell them off. Now, I don't think this is part of the aisle. I think this is something else. This is probably from Ark, actually. Which still makes them shitty as a person but you guys get the idea they're being really really shitty about this like this is the suko this is the isle suko and this was ripped down too like they're straight up stealing work from the developers harry sun is straight up stealing the work from the developers the hard work of making these models these things by the way these creatures to make them for the game cost thousands they cost thousands of dollars to make so when you take this and you start selling it out for forty dollars and, and trying to make a quick buck you, you you're basically a subhuman piece of shit at that point i figured i'd make you guys aware of it i don't know if there's anything anyone can do about it to be honest with you i don't know if you guys can mass report the profile if you want go ahead and do that don't support people like this to steal shit don't buy the models because obviously you will get copyright striked either way and you will probably face some legal bullshit uh, as a result of, of all this bullshit here. But I wanted to make you guys aware of it because it's really not cool to steal hard work from other people, especially not giving them credit. Oh well, I'm going to move back into the game. So yeah, now you guys see how much of a dick some people can be, and it's pretty shitty people are going to such extreme lengths to actually turn a buck. Now, what I want to move... Oh, hi, little guy. How you doing? It's not. It's an LKOS server, so I can't kill you. I actually don't want to get banned on Gaming Revolution, so I'm not going to do anything horrible or stupid because I, I really like the server. I play on this server in my off time, too, and I'm not recording videos. Uh, I like it a lot. It's kind of cool, but... The other one, I mean... I was banned from the prestigious Aurora Spring server, so... <laughs> Oh god, I'm such a dick. I know, I see it in the comments section already. You're a clickbait son of a bitch, Thomnia. How dare you? Insert 12-year-old comment here. Oh, well, anyways, I want to move into the cannibal and what Dondi had to say about that. Now, I also have information on the cannibal because I saw some pretty cool stuff a couple days ago on Skype. I was basically half asleep during it all, but let me tell you some scary, horrifying shit because I've seen a lot of it. And... You're gonna, you're gonna want to know this, but let's move into the cannibal video first, and then we'll move into what I know about the cannibal and the play style of the cannibal. So when you are a cannibal, you know how to play it adequately right off the get-go. Cannibal, with its, with its walk, 
like hunched over, he's taller than you. This is about where the eyes will be. Yeah. 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 Besides, this is the small one, so y'all need to calm down. So I want to make reference in the clip you guys just saw at the very end. Dondi said, besides, this is the small one. You guys need to calm down. The, the cannibal as it is, is bigger than the human. So what does he mean it's the small one? Is there is there a big cannibal? Is there... Is he talking about the... Is, it a, is he talking about the... the, the uh, what, what's her name? Uh... There's like a cannibal mother. Uh, what's her name? Mother Etchna or something? Or It starts with an E, I know that. And that's the cannibal mother or some shit from what I understand and what I've heard uh, from some people. I can't confirm that, but I have heard that. Now, maybe that is the big one and the small, or maybe the one that we saw is a juvenile. Maybe the whole time we've been seeing a juvenile and like, it's just, no. Not okay with that. I'm really not okay with that. Which, I don't even have the answers to this stuff. Like, that's that's the problem. I've seen some stuff. I was talking to Donnie last night on Skype, or a couple nights ago on, on Skype. And we were we just went over the cannibals. He showed me a lot of the animations and stuff. Cannibal is terrifying, by the way. Just so you know, the idle animations for it, I've seen them. I've seen a lot of the animations for it. Tr climbing on walls, jumping from trees. It's horrifying. It's, it's crazy. And the problem with this is... Not even I will know when the cannibal gets put into the game because Dondi made a bet with the dev team apparently that uh, they the cannibal is such a big thing coming to the game, which I don't know when it's going to come to the game, like I said, but it's such a big thing coming to the game that they bet him that he couldn't hold back the excitement to tell people when it was put into the game. So therefore, like, no one's going to know. It's only going to be him that knows when it's put in. And, like, I asked him, how are people going to know? Like, how are you going to see these? Well, you're going to see them around the wild and stuff. And while well, he didn't really comment more on that, he just said that, like, you will see them when they're in the game. Don't worry about it. You will, you will see them. Now, the cannibal itself isn't meant to kill dinosaurs. Just to be clear, it's, it's incredibly fast. It is super, super, super fast. But at the end of the day, it's not meant to take out an Allosaurus at full sprint. Maybe it could... I thought I heard something about that. Maybe it could take on an aloe or something, or like it runs like the speed of a galley or some shit, but this thing itself is more like a galley on steroids, really. Like, it's super fast. It can jump super, super high. It can cling onto trees and rock faces. Like, a cannibal could scale that easily. It could climb up that cliff face like it was nothing. That's the play style. Now, the play style itself, like, when it's crawling on a rock, when it, when it crawls up the rock, it's going to be slow. It'll be slow crawling across the sides of rocks and stuff. But the idea behind it is to have it so it jumps from tree to cliff face to tree to different spots. Like your fastest locomotion is going to be jumping from that tree to that tree, not climbing across that rock face like a spider. Your fastest way to get around the way it's meant to be played is you will jump from that tree to that tree to the ground, jump to another tree, keep just jumping around like a grasshopper, basically, until you pounce onto your prey. And there was something else that he was adding into it that I don't, I don't think I can actually comment on it, but it's kind of cool. And it's, it really opens the, the door for like the gameplay and how you can play with this thing and just crazy, crazy stuff. Now, like I said, I don't know what he means by this thing isn't even fully grown. That kind of scares me, to be honest with you. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below, and if you think the fact that the one we saw isn't fully grown is, like, what? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I really don't. Like, I'm... I'm scared. Genuinely scared, and we saw how big it was compared to a human. And it's probably going to completely demolish a human, too. But either way, I, I want to move into something else now. I'm going to move into another video clip real quick, and then we will continue with that. Giant Raptor roll is going to Magna Raptor. Your Magna Raptor is going to be this size. Now, right off the bat, we just saw how big the Magna Raptor is going to be. The Magna Raptor is going to be the biggest Raptor to ever hit this game. It's gonna be massive. Like we saw it standing next to a fully grown Utah Raptor, and it dwarfs it. It's like a little Rex. Like that's that's pretty incredible. 
Like, it's the Magna Raptor itself, too. I imagine the Magna... Well, I don't even think it's a strain. I think it's like a naturally occurring creature. Maybe it's like amped up on on some DNA manipulation shit or like has the best parts of like dinosaurs or something. But I imagine the Magna strain is just like the Hypo strain where the creature is a bit bigger, except in unlike the, the Hypos where they cannot sustain themselves because they just eat so much. Instead, they are a more manageable, more naturally occurring type of strain i guess if that makes sense or maybe they're just gonna be like it's just something that's thrown into the game because they wanted to have something unique to the isle because i mean you look at different games they have their own signature creatures and stuff and their own signature weapons so maybe they just wanted to have it so uh, don't trust these people maybe they just wanted to have it so run over you so they have their own unique thing kind of like the hypo rex is their thing well, the Magnarex or the Magnaraptor will also be their thing. Now, the thing about it, too, is the Magnaraptor, since it's going to be so big and bulky, it's either going to have crazy muscle mass in its legs or it's just going to be lower than your average Uteraptor or average Raptor in general, to be honest with you. Look at these guys. Frolicking up there, having a good time. Bark. You don't bark at me. I'll bark back at you. You want to go, punk? Okay, we got a barking party. That's cool. Yeah. I agree. Bark. Bark. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Magnum Raptor's massive. It's going to be massive. And it's... I, I like, like I said in a previous video, if you get bitten by a Magnum Raptor your chance of survival goes down considerably. It goes down to like 5% or something, apparently, if the person can track you. Like, it's going to be a really, really bad time. You guys are like on top of me. What are you guys doing? What do you want? You guys, you guys want to fight? Yeah. No, I don't want to fight them. It's actually no KOS, so... What are they doing? Are they fighting? They are fighting. I don't know if I want to trust that. Don't know if I want to trust that either. Wait, why are you bleeding? You bleeding on me? Stop bleeding on me. It's weird. Let me just eat this. I want to see if this Carno, because this Spino is having a hard time with this Carno. I want to see. Oh shit! Are they just one v oneing? Like the Spino's not even bleeding. I thought the Carno would make a Spino bleed. I mean, I thought, whatever. I'm still waiting for the new animations for the Uteraptor. I want those. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Magna Raptor size, the cannibal stuff you just learned about, and the douchebag that's stealing shit from the Isle developers because it's pretty shitty as far as I'm concerned. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it because I've been following this game for so long. And for someone to just simply rip down the model and be like, oh, hey, look what I have to sell. It's stupid. You're dumb if you do that. You are seriously the worst human being on the planet if you if you steal shit like that and then sell it for your own profit. You don't steal other people's hard work. God damn it. It's like someone stealing my video and then running it with advertisements. You just don't do that. It's not okay. I'm just looking around. Taking a look see around, seeing what these guys are up to. What the? Did he just freak out? Or did he eat the nest? Oh, he ate a nest. That's what happened. This poor little guy doesn't know what to do. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the video right here. That was, I, I do have one closing thought on the cannibal and when it'll be brought to the game and stuff. Now I do know too, just so you know, like when cannibals are done or humans or whatever, I'm not sure what it is that's going to be done first. Okay. No, I don't know what's going to be done first. 
but whatever creature it is that's human that comes to the game, it means that everything else is going to kind of snowball in. It's going to be... Like, if humans are brought in first, well, then expect tribals and cannibals very shortly after because they all follow the same blueprint of movement and stuff. Yeah, yeah just going to keep on running up here. But, like, expect a lot of these things to steamroll in after because, like, they, they have the base work done. And once that base work is done, I'm still, I'm still barely able to outrun an acro. Wow. Did they up the acro speed? Look how fast that guy is. I mean, I'm fully grown and I'm, I'm, I'm sprinting. Okay. It, oh, he sat down. All right. But yeah, like, I lost my train of thought. Nice. I, uh, oh, look at the Diablos. Hey. I need the carnal. Take a bite of this. Yeah, like I was saying, when it comes to those creatures, the cannibal and the humans and stuff, when they're added, whatever one is added, you can expect the other creatures to be added fairly soon because, like, the blueprints are all the same. The movements are all the same. They just need the basic animation. They just need the groundwork. They need the foundation for one of those creatures or humans or whatever. And then the other one, since they follow a very similar pattern, will be quicker to put in. At least that's my assumption and what I interpret from it. But you guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I want to know what you have to say. This video isn't really as edited as what I've been trying to move into with the aisle. I'm still going to do some things with it. But like it's not really as edited I guess as what I'm trying to move into. Because I'm moving into a different format on YouTube. And you know editing my content a little bit more. And just doing some editing to the, to the video footage to make it more enjoyable to watch and stuff. Uh, it's just a transition I want to do. A lot of people have been against it like all through my YouTube stuff whatever you want to call this career life whatever but a lot of people are against it but like i'm getting to the point where i just want to do it it's just like you get you get the recording you do but you do fun things on a video and then like you can't edit it because people don't want it edited but you want to edit it you want to take that time to really put your own mark on the video i guess so let me know your thoughts i guess on how you feel about that if you do like the editing more or not uh I definitely would like to hear back from you guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next video.